going to do a video about my bug out bag. Um, my bug out bag, this is the outside of it all set up. I have, sorry for the shaky uh, hand, I have a water container there. I have my canteen set up with Molly attachments there. And I also have my Gerber LMF set up as a Molly attachment. The bag is a genuine uh, U.S. issued bag. It has a GSA contract number on it, and it's the real deal. Hey guys, this is what's on the outside on my Molly attachments. I have a Gerber LMF, which is a really good overall woods knife. It even, the sheath these in has a sharpener that you could use in the woods. Look at that blade. It's pretty sharp. I have my cooking set, which is my canteen and my um, military cup. This stove was purchased from a canteen shop, and it's a pretty heavy-duty stove that they make. And it's good for boiling water and, you know, putting my alcohol stove under it to cook. This is my uh, water bottle. This is the water bottle I would use to uh, collect water in, purify water in. And I have, inside my bag, I have more stuff to purify water. I'll show you that in a bit. But uh, pretty much what I'm going to do throughout the video is just empty the contents of my bag, put it on the floor, and show you guys. Okay, on my outside pocket, this is what I carry. I pretty carry my, I pretty much carry my first aid kit, some power cord. This is a heavy cover for the canteen cup. It goes over it and boils water quicker. And this is a rubber cover for hot fluids that you just put over your cup so you can have it. They're both available at the canteen shop. This is a first aid kit, and I have my water filtration set up on it. I have a Kyodyne pocket filter, which uh, has also a carbon element to it. So this will remove particles and some chemicals out of the water. And the SteriPen, I use it to remove uh, bacteria out of the water. You could pretty much filter the water and then sterilize it with the SteriPen. I purchased this one, this model. It's the lowest costing model, but it runs on AA batteries, which is great. You don't have to rely on those CR123s like they do on the other models. But that's pretty much my first pocket. I'm concerned about filtering water, first aid, and some material to, uh, to strap things together. Hey guys, this is the stuff that's in my uh, big compartment. All right, let's start from here. Um, I have paracord. I have bank line. I have wire to set up snares and red market tape to mark it. I have a small fishing set in here. I just got some hooks. And what I could do is I could break the bank line down into three lines and use that as fishing uh, line. But I got three hooks there. I got uh, wire ties that I carry with me in the woods. I have gutting gloves, one, two, three. I have a slingshot with an extra power band. This is a uh, bag that expands to about 10 gallons. So uh, you could carry stuff like firewood, whatever, you know, on you. If you don't want to carry your backpack and throw everything in there. I think it even holds water. I have two knife sharpeners. I have some straps to strap things down. I have a pruner. It makes life easy to build uh, cages to trap birds if you need to. I have a cook set. Aside from what's on my canteen kit, you know. I have a match blast with wet, with wet fire. That's to start, you know, fires. And I also have a magnifying glass. Make sure it's high powered for sunny days. You can start fires with that. I have waterproof matches in a case. I have a compass. I have a pair of binoculars. I have a um, multi Gerber multi tool. Small lantern that operates on four AA batteries. It's LED and it lasts a long time. A headlamp. And a sewing kit. 
I have various compartments in here too that I can throw more stuff. You see my, that's where I normally carry my, my water bottle. I have a small compartment I could put stuff in there like matches and what have you. Um, keep in mind, you know, I didn't include other things in this kit like duct tape. I don't, I don't need it. Um, I have it in my truck. I would have my truck with me if I do evacuate. Um, also, I'm going to show you my food container. Here's my food container. It's just a tote. It has, uh, I have rice. I have three different types of rice that I shrunk from the bag. They're all in here. I also have a lot of canned soup. You notice that I put the dates on the can so I could rotate my stock. I have some spoons, knives, and forks. This is uh, in these two bags. It's more cookware. Um, it's, a, it's a small kit. Gets you by for a couple of hours until you're able to set up your traps in the woods and start hunting for your food. Uh, Gets you by for a couple of days, I'm sorry. Um, like I said, I keep this in the truck. I would keep other material in the truck, like my tents, my sleeping bags, what have you. You know, overall, it's it's a good setup. Um, I do have firearms. I'm not going to talk much about them. I like to keep that to myself. But I would, I would carry a small 22 with me in the woods. 22 is a good survival rifle. And uh, like I said, it's it's uh, just a pack I would throw on my back and get everything out of the house. It's organized. I have it broken down into, you know cooking supplies and utilities, um, hunting and trapping stuff. Um, people ask why the slingshot, uh, during the Depression, the slingshot was used to rabbit hunt, and I'm pretty good with it. So, hope you enjoyed my video. If you like it, please rank it and rate it, and your comments are welcome. Thank you. Have a good day.